Okay, we're about to use Fog Trunk to image an old uh, Optiplex 760 with a CentOS 7 minimal image that is fully updated as of today. Here we go. Alright, Wake on Land just happened. And the speeds are at 7.15, about 6, 6 gigabytes a minute. It's dropping pretty quickly though. 4 gigabytes per minute. And that's it, pretty much, almost. Resize the root partition there. And imaging is complete. It's rebooting. It's going to boot into uh, CentOS 7 now. Um, and as far as bandwidth for that, um, let's see. That was the bandwidth. And, yep. So we started at 10, about 10.42. It's 10.43 now. I've already imaged. And, uh, and CentOS 7 is, uh, just about done booting. The image, actually the computer, while we're waiting, the, the computer that I imaged is uh, this one right here, Optiplex 760, pretty old, and the fog server's running on this, which is even older, it's uh, Optiplex 380, it's running in a virtual machine, with along with uh, about three other virtual machines. Each virtual machine's got uh, 512 megs of RAM allocated to it, and every virtual machine has two cores assigned. And this system, in total, only has two cores because it's Core 2 Duo. So, running a pretty lean ship here. Um, I've got some older equipment up there that I've run Fog on as well. Pentium 4 with a IDE drive in it runs Fog just fine. Let's see, and uh, CentOS 7 is, uh, it's, it's been imaged, it's up and running, good to go. So that whole imaging process took less than a minute with Fog Trunk, which is what will eventually be Fog 1.3.0.